this game and today I'm going to show you how you increase your frame rate while playing games by installing this awesome program. It's called um, Razor Vortex and I'll give you a link in the description on how to get it. It's just on the Razor website and um, it installs all your games for you basically. So all the games that I have on my Steam at the moment that are installed. Um, it comes up with like random pictures like little logos here and you can customize the pictures so you can just click on it, edit cover art and then you can change it. So I've changed them all basically and made them look pretty except for Lisa. I haven't changed that yet so yeah so to um, boost to make um, the frame rate awesome. Okay first of all it'll be on recommended so you can go for that but I want it a bit customized because I do want programs open still when I am doing it so usually you can go recommended and it will have most of the programs for you um, that you don't want on it but I've gone custom and I've gotten rid of most of the ones that you don't want. I want to keep my action running because that's what I record with. I want my DS4 Windows because that's how um, my PlayStation 4 controller is working. Um, I don't need that, don't need that. I want to keep my NVIDIA GeForce experience on and I do not need my um, my Wacom tablet um, driver on when I'm playing so uh, I could take that off. Then you can go into services and you can pretty much keep this the same as it is on the recommended, this is what it is, but um, they take off the hot buttons and stuff so that is good, you, you definitely need that for recording. And um, you can have the themes, you can, you can take that off if you want but I, I usually keep that on, it is pretty good. And then you come down to non window services, um, I got, I've got that balance server. Um, service no, server. Um, I I click that because I don't need that running while I am playing, and I've kept these two on because might as well keep the Steam client service on. <laughs> I, I probably need that. Now go to others, and um, these are just random sort of stuff. Clean RAM. Probably need that. Clear clipboard. Yep. Enable gay power solutions change the settings to high performance, yeah, yeah, need that. Um, close Explorer, um, most people would want this clicked, but um, I have two screens and such, so um, I could have a walkthrough or have another upload going at the same time on my other screen, so I would technically and usually want this unchecked for me. So it's up to you guys. Um, turn off automatic updates, yes. So keep that unchecked and launch game on game desktop. I'm not exactly sure what fuck that means, but I I've kept that unchecked because I, I don't really care for that one. So um, you could switch the the shortcut to something more um, easier for you. So I've just made it so boost, alt B, and then normal, alt N. So that's that's pretty easy for me. Alright, dinos. Alright, so you want to analyze. So this is the first time you've um, installed it. So you just want to analyze your system so it's just checking it to see if there's any problems and whatnot. Alright, so it's analyzed it and it should have detected all the problems and such and um, at the moment I have none and then you can either copy it, paste it to websites tell you because you have all your systems stuff in here I have a, a bit of an older um, i7 um, CPU, I, I need to update that definitely and I need to update my motherboard it's, they're a bit old and um, are lacking in my I'm not getting my full potential in my GeForce um, 980 graphics card, but yeah, so then you can go to tweak and because um, I have already tweaked my stuff, because in the recommended 
there will be what is wrong with your your um, your computer basically so basically it will be this stuff usually so you can just go recommended and then optimize and it will get rid of all the um all the bad stuff basically and it'll be pretty awesome so I've already done that because I can undo all my razor cortex tweaks which I I don't want to do I don't want to screw it up at the moment and um you can defrag your um your game files but only on um, normal hard drives you can't do it on solid state drives unfortunately because I have most of my stuff on solid state drives I found that out because I can't do my Dark Souls 2 so yeah and then we can do frames per second I have that on I have it displayed on my top left and I have it as my alt F so yeah guys so this is a pretty good um, pretty good program it's free um, you just have to make a account, log in, and yeah, so boosting, it'll do that. Looks pretty cool. And then it'll disappear and you won't, won't see it, except for the, um, the frames while, while you're playing. And this will turn on and off whenever you're playing a game. So that is really useful. It'll activate whenever. So yeah. It's really nice. So I really recommend this this program if you're having trouble with getting your top frame rates while playing games. So this is what I've been using at the moment to achieve my goal while I'm recording because it's really fucking annoying not having those frame rates while I'm recording and it, I get those laggy, those laggy bits. So yeah, I recommend getting this. I'll put the link in the description. Alright guys, I'll end the, epi end the episode. <laughs> I end the video there. Remember to like and sub and keep on game, my friends. Bye!